So we're going to take the basis of just try to see this. Part. Okay, so with CCS, um, as you guys may already know, owner just charges one price for um, this sort of package. You pay that um, the, part, the price per month per active child, and that includes everything on the owner platform, including CCS and including billing. So there's no extra cost to sign up to CCS or to sign up to billing. Um, the only cost we're billing is the merchant um, fees, which we'll get to in, in a later like in a later part of this video. But essentially, you sign up um, free, and then once you've signed up, you basically will, if you wanted to, if you haven't already done it, you'll send us an email saying, "Can we uh, set up our center with the CCS part of things?" Um, we'll send you the link. You fill out the link, and then you're good to go. So once you've completed that link and CCS has been activated on your uh, owner account, what will happen is you'll need to create your B2B device. Okay. Now I'm not going to go through exact steps on how to do that um, in terms of step by step, but I can sort of show you where it would all be and show you that we all have we have a guide as well. Give me a second, just admitting people. Yep, perfect. Um, yeah, so we have a guide on that as well. Now I've lost my window. Okay. Um, yep. So what you'll do is you come to your CCS tab here. And under activate slash update details, essentially what you'll need to fill out is this information here. The first three will be in relation to your B2B device. And if you don't know already, a B2B device is a device that allows owner to talk to CCS and basically allow us to pull data from their database to be able to use throughout the center. Okay. And these B2B devices have an expiry date, usually around six months time. Um, if you don't already know, we have a whole uh, tutorial section uh, in owner at the bottom. Under tutorials, we've got a few videos to help you get started with different things. Um, parent app walkthroughs, staff app walkthroughs, and getting started with owner. And then we have a whole section tutorial guides here um, that has our owner help center and also frequently asked questions as well you can review. Um, so when I look at the owner help center throughout this video, I will be, if you um, don't already have it saved as a bookmark, it would be as simple as clicking tutorials and clicking tutorial guides and it will take you here okay now this uh, help center we worked out we've worked on it a lot uh, our old guides were a bit more uh, sort of outdated just pdf format and whatnot so we've sort of given this a uh, big uh, upgrade we are looking at adding a lot more ccs component uh, tutorials in the new year now that we have a demo center that we can sort of do tutorials with and play around with so um, ccs have given us that access which is amazing um uh, you can also use our owner help center by clicking the search button up here in the top right hand corner and searching what you want. Okay. In the particular case of B2B devices, um, oh, and just on a quick note, even if you don't use the search, it's nicely broken down for you um, to sort of have a subheading and then little links underneath. And you just click those links and it takes you to that guide. Okay. It's as simple as that. Some are videos and you'll be able to see a video icon and some are written guides. Okay. Um, but since we're talking about CCS now, you'll come to the CCS tab. And you'll see here how to set up your pro to b2b device without going through it in too much detail you basically click it and you will just go straight down it um, follow the steps click here click here click here do this do this and then you'll end up with those six um, sort of uh, fields six is it yeah six fields all, all all set up and that means that your um your account is ready to be activated to um is ready to talk to ccs and your, your ccs ready essentially this is the first step, and once this is done, we can do everything on the CCS side of things. So we can start creating our family accounts, we can start um, creating invoices and doing all that sort of things. Uh, and then if you wanted to bill with our merchant, then you would do the billing side separately to this. Uh, generally, when we send you the email uh, to sign up, it has both those links 